What's up YouTube, AJ Gergich here from Gergich and Company. Today I'm gonna to give you a short but actionable video on a really cool feature that's just come out in Google Analytics. What this is gonna do is allow, you know, us non-gurus for Google Analytics um, to get back actionable data and get back reports and kind of start to get your feet wet with Google Analytics um, in a very simple way. So let's dive in. What you're looking at here is a demo account. This is free to get and I would highly suggest you do so. You can just add this onto your profile and this demo account has tons of uh, data in it. When you're running reports, it's easy to kind of play around with this larger data set. So let's dive in to analytics intelligence. If you don't see this, it should be coming any day now, but probably 99% of you are going to be seeing this um, when you log into Google Analytics. Simply click this and what you can do is you can actually talk to Google, um, or at least at this point type to Google, um, with what kind of data you're looking for. So I've tried a few different samples, uh, questions and things, probably about 80% of them worked. Um, you kind of got to learn what you can ask and what you can't. I will have a link to this help file um, right here and it kind of shows you some sample questions and different things you can try and can't do. I suggest you read that, it'll be in the description. But for the purposes of today's video, let's just run through four quick uh, searches and see how this does. The first one is, uh, what's my mobile versus desktop conversion rate? So we wanna see you know, how we're stacking up when we are looking at desktop and mobile. And you can see, obviously, usually desktop is gonna convert higher, but that's a pretty large disparity. Again, this isn't real data, um, but that would be a little bit alarming to me. If I go to the report, I can click right here, it'll show me desktop, mobile, tablet. Um, very, very cool, got there really quickly and I got my answer really fast. So let's try the next one. Did we receive more organic traffic in August year over year? So I wanted to see if it could kind of handle a little more advanced query and it totally did. So, um, it shows that we grew 70% and you can see that it's comparing August 2017 to 2016. Very cool. Now, if you click report again, it's making an awesome report for you. Um, you could then end up saving this um, right here. Click save, export it, that kind of stuff. Really neat, um, fast way to deal with Google Analytics, especially for beginners. Next, we're gonna look at social networks. So again, I'm just trying to throw out a few curveballs. Which social networks has the most conversions in the past six months? Now, it handles this. Um, obviously though, this data isn't all set up and it's not accurate. Uh, it's possible Google doesn't wanna, <laughs> doesn't wanna say Facebook and Twitter are beating Google groups. Yeah, I bet. Um, but you can see here, it, it worked, we're just not getting as much information. If you saw something like this, you would obviously wanna go into the social settings and make sure that everything's being tracked properly. Lastly, I wanna check, you know, I wanna check some page speeds and uh, see how things are loading. So I put in, what's my bottom 10 landing pages by page speed? You can see the page load in milliseconds is showing up and you can see when you search you can search top or bottom i found and that will show you you know good or bad i'd love for you guys to down in the comments paste in some of the queries that you find that produce good reports um, and we can share some of that data back and forth i just wanted to highlight this make sure you're aware of it because i know you know it can be frustrating you log into google analytics and you're like oh lord they've changed everything again right and so this is just a really nice um, beginner friendly way to get to the actionable data that you need to make the right decisions for your site. I'll see you guys in the next video.